what's going on guys your boy terry by reacts here and i am back for the finale i think <laughs> of one punch man i think this is the final episode of the season i'm not sure but um i'm not entirely sure if there's gonna be another episode after this but i think this is the finale though it you know what i'm saying like would be a great way to end the season i mean master versus student um if you guys have not seen my reactions before this is probably going to be one of the episodes that a lot of new people come in to come in to see my reaction because it's only one episode and everybody is up to date i'm up to date and that's the reason why i know a lot of people was asking me why didn't i wait until this episode dropped to do six episodes do that super reaction but i decided to do that um five by itself because i wanted to be up to date for this episode because i you know i think it's going to be the finale i think it's only 12 episodes of this season also just like last season so that's why i rushed those five episodes out um so that I could be up to date and, and we could all watch the finale together. Okay, so I don't know when this dropped, but I saw that it was out and I said, you know what, let me jump on this too. As you guys know already that has been here before, I'm in the process of moving. I am at my new place right now. Like I do, a, I did a quick setup to uh i did a quick setup to get my green screen up and stuff like that it's still still just a raggedy setup right now I haven't really packed anything out or anything like that but the internet is ready to go today is tuesday i told you guys that um monday um you know they were gonna come and get and get the internet up for me and they did this time around so thank god we have internet i'm ready to go um so as you know what's going on in, in in there right now like i saw a lot of videos now that i'm up to date i can watch other people's reactions and you know what i'm saying like theories and all this other stuff i can watch that stuff now so i've seen a lot of i was watching a lot of stuff about this season too a lot of people who has been you know what i'm saying they haven't really spoiled anything but they're talking about the um the the monster that garo is becoming right so is he supposed to be the the ultimate um is he supposed to be that guy for saitama is he the guy for saitama because i i love garo's character don't get me wrong i love him because as i said he's more of an anti-hero more than an antagonist and that's why I, I i love his character because he's not your typical villain you know what i'm saying he's not your typical villain he's a guy that you know what I'm saying? He protected the kid in, I think it was episode 11, right? So he protected the kid. And as I said, even before that, I was saying that his character doesn't, because he's not killing heroes. He's just beating the crap out of them to, I don't know. He has something to prove. This, he calling himself a monster because he wants to prove, hey, monsters can win too and i understand what he means by that i understand his feelings i understand where that feeling is coming from you know as a kid you know what i'm saying admiring that the monsters they try their best and they never win <laughs> right so i do understand where he's coming from and he's emerging um i'm not sure exactly if the red hair was a transformation or or it was just that he rubbed his blood in his hair or he's been beaten so much that his head is bleeding and it just his hair just is red um as a result of that so I, I i don't really know what's going on but all i know is i am ready for bang versus garrow okay that's what i'm ready for that's what i'm hyped for if you guys are new to the channel i do not upload my reactions to youtube so um there will be a slight pause before i do before i do my review of the episode so if you're new and you're watching this um the link is down in the description you have two options okay there'll be the full reaction um full reaction on the google drive or on bitchute because sometimes there's so many people so many of my stuff being watched on the google drive and there's a view limit so um, I uploaded to this other site called BitChute also where there is no view limit, but it's a little bit less of it, the quality is not it's not terrible. It's watchable. Okay, so instead of you getting 720p, you'll have 
540p okay so it's not terrible it's it's still watchable you can see all the action it's just not hd quality okay so um if you're willing to wait if that's the case then that's fine too um so i'm hoping that you know that you guys enjoy this reaction of course i will be trying to upload some some highlights in the near future of all the anime and tv shows that i do special moments you know some small clips like some one minute two minute clips here and there of my favorite reactions just to kind of put my stuff out there so people can come in and know what i'm doing over here so it's just a little tactic that i think that i came up with that i think i'm going to do i don't know why i have my headphones on already but that goes to show you i am ready for one punch man season 2 episode 12 okay so we're going to jump into this reaction remember link is down in the description to go watch the reaction and we're going to take a slight break here and then we're going to come back for my review okay so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the review All right, so I think I I still don't know. I'm gonna have to go and check to see if that was the last episode of the season. But it did come off as a finale. Reason being, um, the intro, um, I mean the the yeah, the intro played at the end, right? Because we didn't get the intro until the end, um, end of the episode, and we got a after credit scene pretty much. Um, so first thing I want to address, I don't know, you know, I'm pretty sure that the people who are reading the manga, they already know, you know, you know, what's the destination for Garo and all of this other stuff. Cause I, I know the manga is like way ahead of the anime. So, um, I don't know how much of it they covered for this season, but I'm guessing this, this is the last episode of the season. As I said, I have to go and check, but the season was awesome from start to finish 12 episodes of great story building character development everything that they did this season round of applause if it is the last <laughs> episode round of applause to jc staff for doing a great job they did exceptionally well to um to as a follow-up it's like a follow-up act to the trend that was set by Madhouse. They brought it. You know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. They brought it. They executed extremely well. And I I, I, I loved it. I loved every minute of the season. I can't say that I hated any minute of it. It wasn't slow. The pace was awesome. They kept it going well. The animation was on point. The voice acting was good. The funny was still there. Everything about this season was A1. You know what I'm saying? Everything was just really good, man. 10 out of 10 for all 12 episodes um, that I've seen. So I have to say, man, cheers to JC staff. This last episode seems like they, of course, just like um just like the first season how they pretty much saved the budget for that for that epic fight between Saitama and Boros um so what can i say man this episode bang and bomb versus garros man epic fight even though garros just got his ass whooped the whole time pretty much and then when he actually started to get serious um he got picked up by the, the the monster bird or whatever so at the end there i mean bang already knew about saitama's power to to some extent right um don't know how much of it the fight between um senti um senti shoro and 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 genos epic epic animation man i loved it um the 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 fight between garros and um with and bang to open the episode they did a great job i think it's the most fluid the the animation has ever been um uh, because i talked about that on my last um the last super reaction that i did those five episodes um 7 through 11 um in 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 that episode in those episodes 
um when i talked when i talked about the animation i was like the way how they're doing it is kind of like a movie style it's not a style that i like um i love to see fluid animation you want to see that hand-to-hand combat you especially if two kung fu experts are going up against each other so i'm glad that they did that in episode in in episode 11 and episode 12 they really show the fluidness of how much what they can do you know what i'm saying with their animation and i i I love this is nothing short of it's it's as i said it's still not madhouse you know what i'm saying because madhouse is just on another level um but jc staff they really they deserve a round of applause for what they did with this season and i'm taking nothing away from them nothing away from them they might as well had had some people from Madhouse on their staff to do these last couple of episodes because it was epic, not short of epicness. It was awesome. Great episode. I loved it. Um, as I said, man, just moved into my um, new place and um, just set up a, a, a makeshift. As you can see, I'm even fading out of color sometimes and is 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 it's a weird setup i have right now it's a crooked setup i have right now putting up freaking shower curtain rods <laughs> to to run a green a green cloth and all of this other stuff because my my actual green green screen setup it just takes a while so to get all the lights up and all this other stuff so i have some makeshift stuff going on um and it's it's going to be a while before I get that stuff really up because, you know, I got to take care of the other stuff first before I actually concentrate on what's going on in this particular room. Because, you know, if I don't help her with the stuff out there, then she's going to make no all this. You, you, you guys know what it is if you've ever experienced that. So this, these episodes, man, this these this season was an awesome season. Um, looking forward to to more um to come one punch man is a great series i I love it and we didn't get to see much saitama action but that music man his theme song is so awesome he has a couple of themes that i like the one where he shows up to do the the serious punch it even seemed like a serious punch it looked like a normal punch (laughs) that he gave to sentishiro but you know what i'm saying like i mean (laughs) <laughs> and then the epicness at the end is like master, master Saitama. What, what, what is it that I'm lacking? And Saitama is like probably power. <laughs> and King is like begging him not to listen to Saitama, because Saitama is not the best teacher. He's a type of dude like this. He's a type of guy. Cause remember, Saitama don't really want disciples. Okay. Um. So he's not one to, he's not the most diligent of teachers, I should say. He's not the most dedicated teacher. He's more, he's more of like, go do it because I know you can. (laughs) You get what I'm saying? He's like a motivational speaker, more, more of a motivational speaker, more than anything else when it comes on to telling people how to do you know what they can accomplish you know what i'm saying like during the season when he was talking to king and he said and he and he told king he's like instead of whining about it why not just become stronger you know what i'm saying it's what i did god's strong if you believe that you're weak and you can't help it and it seems like you have some you know monsters are attracted to you and you want to defend yourself just get stronger you know what i'm saying like i mean it's easy for it for him to say it's easier said than done but of course king has to has to take that first step and that's very true he has to take that first step towards getting those things um towards getting stronger so that he can actually live up because he's afraid of coming out to because he's the s-class hero that nobody knows that he's actually just a scaredy cat. You know what I'm saying? Like the King engine is his damn heart beating so fast and so hard that they can hear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's just a scaredy cat, um, but he doesn't want to be outed as a scaredy cat. So Saitama is giving him the best advice that he could give him. He's like, just get stronger, live up to the name. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's pretty awesome, man. So, um, 
So I don't know what's going to happen from now. I don't know if Bang seeing that Saitama came to, to, to save his ass there. I don't know if Bang is going to, you know, out him or say, why are you an S-Class hero? You're not, you know what I'm saying? You're not the, that. You're not good. You know what I mean? So I don't know how much of it Bang must have seen that Saitama punch Sentishura. He must have seen that. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to the next season or the next episode. I'm not 100% sure, as I've said. If it is the finale, then it was an awesome season, as I've said before. Um, Saitama really, you know, as I said, it wasn't much. We didn't get much of him, but this season was more so Genos got a lot more moments than Saitama did, which is fine. This season was about the introduction of Garo anyways. So it wasn't necessarily about Saitama this season, even though we know he's the main character, but I'm glad that they're taking their time to develop other characters, introducing us to the Monster Association and all of this other stuff that is going to be the big bad going forward, right? So... I don't know what the monster, the monster Association wants with Garros. I have no clue. Is he going to eat one of those things? I, I don't know. Speed of Sonic already ate one of those things. He, he, he cooked it and ate it. So I don't know what he's up to. Um, So, man, it, there was so many cool stuff this season, man. Knowing about the, um, you know, his ninja friends that already turned into to monsters that brought him the thing to um, Speed of Sonic. Hearing that flashy flash, um, flashy flash is actually the fastest out of all of them. That was pretty cool to know too. Um, the Monster Association, they fear Tornado as they should because she's a monster herself in, in her own right. I can't wait to see if, if, if Saitama, if Saitama and Tornado ever teams up, bro, if they ever team up in this anime, I'm going to lose it. I am going to lose it because they're right now. They are the two my two favorite characters right now. It's Saitama, um, it's Saitama and and um Tatsumaki, um Tornado. They're my two favorite characters right now. Even though I don't, we didn't, we saw her one time this season. Practically, just I think it was twice we saw her. Yeah, like two times she showed up for her sister. I think she showed up again at some point. I don't remember what episode it was. But um but they're my two favorite characters. Genos is there in a strong third. Of course, he's a strong third. Um I love Bang's character also. Um a lot of character that we got to know this season that that really stepped up. Metal Bat didn't know what it, what his power was other than the fact that he's walking around with a baseball bat, but now we know how powerful he is, where, where he gets his, his strength from. Um, I'm not into the tank top dudes. I'm not into them. Um, as far as I know, um, the one that's S-Class is pretty decent. Um, you know, but he was no match for Garros. He got his ass beat. Um, of course, um, thing there, what's his name? Moomin Rider. He's freaking um, top of the, what, C-Class, right? He's, he's the um C class um rank one now so he, well deserved well deserved of course well deserved so we got to see um what's his name am I mask we got to see him kick some ass finally he um got a little bit of showing in in season one of how powerful he could be but this season we got to see him in two scenes taking down monsters that was pretty cool um to see why he's a class rank one you know what i'm saying preventing he you know every anybody that's got to be s class got to get his approval um first before they can move up to s class this is pretty cool um so am i leaving out anything i think i've talked about everything <laughs> so it um yes her um what's her name blizzard pretty cool character too um i think she should actually try to hone her skills instead of you know being you know accepting herself of being mediocre because i think i think a lot of times potential people look down on potential and think oh oh i'll never be able to be because she's thinking um you know that she'll never be her sister and her sister always got to come to her rescue her sister always knows when she's when she's in trouble 
which is actually pretty cool. But at the same time, I think she should she should try to get to her level. Maybe she won't get there, but I think she, if she really tried, she could really get there. Because I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at these, look at these two old men, man, bang and bomb. Like, they are. I mean. I'm lost for words. I don't even know how to describe these two dudes because they're so such cool characters. Like just getting introduced to his to his brother and seeing, you know what I'm saying? That attack that they did, bro. You can't imagine if they did that against Gor. Gor wouldn't be he. I don't think he could have ever. He, he wouldn't have been able to take that. Um, it's crazy, man. This this episode was nuts. I loved it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Hope you guys, if there anybody here that's new, it's your first time here. Um, first time here, first time seeing my reaction, man. I hope you guys um, understand what we are here. Hope you guys have a chance. You can check out the other stuff on the channel, of course. If not, then it's okay, too. Um, we also have a Discord community if you guys feel like joining and seeing um what i'm going to react next you can leave suggestions over there of things to um for me to react to all of that good stuff we have great discussions over there on the stuff that we watch on the channel so, so link is down in the description just click on the link install the app if you need to and just join the server it's absolutely free and it's also the only way that you can reach me um, you can private message me and actually get in contact with me the fastest. Yes, you can leave comments on the video. I also look at the comment section, but it's usually later. Um, you know, I have the, the Discord server. I have it on my phone, so it's very easy for me to see that you guys contacted me. Boom, I can hit you right back. We could chat privately. We could chat in, in, in the open groups, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. And remember to like this video and also leave a comment in the comment section. And also, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.